This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. So tonight I've got something really cool to show you guys. This is the brand new Giver figure that showed up today. This is um, Giver 1, the Ultimate Edition by Figma. Um, as you guys know, um, the Giver has been in bed with Max Factory since the very inception. Um, every toy and every vinyl model that has come out pertaining to the Giver has been released through uh, Max Factory. Max Factory owns Figma. Um, this is Figma's, I guess their 600th figure. And it says it's celebrating their 15th year of producing action figures. So it's kind of really, it's really cool that um, they're celebrating with a new rendition of the Giver. Um, you guys know that I don't really save boxes, but man, they're making it really hard with this one. This is a gorgeous box. Um, let me show you guys real quick. It's got some beautiful photos on it. And it's got a, uh, let's see, it's got a slip cover and it comes off. So that's pretty cool. I may end up keeping this box. It's just really nice, but we'll see. Anyway, as always, we didn't come here to look at a box. We came here to look at the Giver. This is a beautiful figure, a gorgeous action figure of the Giver. Um, if you guys aren't strangers to my channel, you know that I'm a huge Giver fan. Um, I've got a whole playlist of Giver videos on the channel. Um, all the action figures, all the um, vinyl kits. I love the Giver. It's just such a cool design. This biomechanical living costume that bonds to show Fukumachi and the Giver is my favorite anime which is kind of a bold statement I I've loved anime since I was a kid and I like a lot of different uh, anime but the Giver is my favorite um, his look is just incredible. His insect-like face. Look at those eyes. Hang on. Let's get him in the light. Show him a little bit better. sort of a really light purple, almost pink um, eyes. The silver control metal and the little green jewel above that that fires out the lasers.
This Giver action figure looks a lot truer to the anime in its proportions than the last Giver figure that Figma put out. And I'll show you guys in a second uh, comparison. Let me show you what he comes with. He comes with the uh, Giver unit. This is how the Giver looks before it bonds itself to show. There's the control metal and all the little blackish sort of purplish tentacles that make up the uh, muscle tone of the Giver. It's all wrapped around in the blue armor bits. So he comes with that. He comes with another head, which is really cool. It's, it's made for show to be um, tearing off a piece of the face, um, showing his true face underneath. You can see some of the like little tentacles adhering to his skin. Um, here's the hand that goes along with it and it's tearing off a piece of the the face like he went peeled it off yes that is the sound it would make <laughs> um, so yeah that's permanently affixed to that hand And then he's got, he has two of the longer um, vibrating swords that attach to his forearms. You know, right now he's got these shorter ones attached and you can replace those with the longer ones so he can slice through zonoids. Um, he also comes with a whole bunch of hands um, splayed open hands Um, some hands for when he opens up his chest to reveal the Mega Smasher. And it's cool that this little like plastic tree is included with the hands plugged on it um, in order to keep the holes from shrinking. That's a neat thing about Figma action figures is they've got that so the... There's little stems on this tree and the hands fit on it so the holes don't ever shrink, you know, because it's vinyl, it's plastic, so the holes would shrink up over time and you don't want to break off the, the stem trying to attach the hand. So that's kind of neat. Um, okay, this is, the, this is the brand new Giver. This is the last uh, Giver they had released, which I have in a video on the channel. Um, this figure looks really, really good also, but his, I don't know, something about the face, it, it looks really, really good, but let's show them off side by side. Um, The new one on the left, his uh, his proportions of the head are just truer to the um, anime. Not when he's not in focus, but there we go. Let's do it this way.
and he's considerably taller. His proportions are just a little truer to the anime. The um, older one on the right, his shoulders and his chest are a little bit exaggerated. I mean, it's it's a manga and an anime character, so he's got exaggerated features. But I mean, um, the one on the left is truer in its proportions to the show and to the manga. But they're both super impressive. And... This new one is closer in size to the original um, figures that uh, Max Factory made of the Giver. These are the hard to find, super expensive, incredibly brittle um, Giver action figures. And let me show you guys what I mean as far as like size wise. So the the original one, this first one, he's got a little bit more green mixed in the blue. Um, almost more of a teal color as opposed to the royal blue sort of look of the new one and then a more baby blue for the last one they released. Um, but that's how they stack up. The, um, the one to the far left, the first one, he is still the tallest. if I can get them closer to the camera for a better look at their faces. Family photo time. Yeah, um, as far as anime accuracy, I would say the brand new one, the one in the middle, he his proportions look the truest. But then I think in second place would be the original one. And then uh, last would be the little one that they released before this new one. Um, all three of them are great representations of the Giver, and they all look like him. It's not like any of them uh, betray the look, you know. It's just I think that the one in the middle, the brand new one, hits closest to the mark as far as accuracy. But I knew there would be some people out there that would want to see the other two compared to him. So I thought, you know, what the hell, let's, let's get them out and show them off too. But let's take them away for now so we can look at the man of the hour. Um, let's see. I just opened up this figure, guys, uh, when I started filming, so I haven't even got a chance to play with him yet. But let's open up the Mega Smasher. Yeah, so he comes with hands that you can um, make it look like he's holding open his chest as he fires off his Mega Smash or his sort of ultimate weapon. It's kind of like Godzilla's breath. It's a 
huge nuclear blast that just annihilates shit for miles around. But he can't use it all the time. He's got to, you know, build up his power, you know, generate enough um, power to use it again after he uses it. I ordered mine from Ami Ami. They are sold out. Um, before shipping, I think he was like 65 bucks or 70 bucks, something like that. Um, I know that he's coming to American uh, stores like Big Bad Toy Store. Wow, he's got uh, double jointed knees. That's cool. Yeah, this is a really nice figure. I'm glad I ordered him. Like I've said in my other Giver videos, whenever there's a new version of the Giver, I, tr I try to get it. Uh, just because there's not a lot of love, merchandise-wise, for the Giver. It's few and far between. Like, he does have a fan base... He does have dedicated fans like myself, but it's not it's not a huge property like say Gundam or you know Dragon Ball or Naruto or you know any of the great big anime that get even neon um jet hella Evangelion. It's it's not that big where they are constantly pumping out new stuff. Um, it's it's a um, sort of a second tier sort of anime and manga, and um, when new stuff is released, I try to snatch snatch it up. Um, because Giver stuff on the secondary market is expensive and it's hard to find. Um, normally when new Giver product comes out, I'll buy <laughs> two or three of the same item just to have a, a backup on hand. But I did not do that with this because after shipping and everything, this was damn near a hundred dollar figure. Um, yeah, shipping put him around 90 something bucks. And, uh, yeah, I'm just not going to throw, you know, 300 bucks around for a couple Guyvers. So I only got one of this one. But if I did have the extra money, I would pick up another one for my desk at work. Um, I've got, uh, like when this one came out, I picked up four of them. And I've got one of this guy at my desk at work. And this is the one that I display at home. Um, this one. But the new one costs more than that, that one did. So I only got one of them. If it ever goes down in price, which I doubt, but if it does, I'll pick up another one to have a spare. Anyway, I just wanted to touch base with you guys and show you the really cool new um, Figma Giver figure, the Ultimate Edition. Um, my Super Duper Ultimate Edition is going to be the 1 6th scaled version that I have been waiting close to eight years for now. Um, I've been keeping tabs on that thing for, yeah, like seven or eight years now. And it's finally getting produced. I have it on pre-order. It's like a $600 action figure, which is insane. But I have been following along for, like I said, like damn near eight years now. There's no way I'm not going to get that thing. So I have, a, I have one of those on order from Ami Ami. <laughs> And he's like a one-sixth scaled version of this figure. So he'll be about 
12 to 13 inches tall with lights, his Mega Smasher lights up, his Control Metal lights up. Um, it's a beautiful toy for sure. Um, and I think that's probably going to be the most expensive toy I buy uh, for a while. Uh, yeah, if I hadn't been following along for as long as I have, I don't think I would lump down that amount of money for a toy. But, like I said, I've been, I've been a fan of the Giver for a long, long time, since 1989. And... Um, Anytime there's a, a new version, I want to add it to the collection. And especially a gorgeous 13-inch tall light-up Ultimate Giver, I will have to add to the collection. But in the meantime, this new one is super cool, and I'm glad he's joined the family. And I'll have to take some cool pictures and upload it to the blog. Bionic Vampire Ninja at blogspot.com. You guys will be able to see all the cool photos there. Let me know if any of you guys ordered this figure or if you have him on order from uh, one of the American stores. All right, my friends, take it easy, and I'll be back really soon with some more cool monsters and awesome toys to look at. Take it easy, my friends. As always, happy Halloween. <laughs>